Those viewers who have watched my various electronics videos will know that I have this rather small electronics workbench that's piled pretty high with equipment. It's been there ever since I've been in the house for over 25 years, something like 26 years now, I think. And uh, the reason it is the way it is is because when I moved into the house, I had about zero money left over for anything, but I needed to uh, set up my lab and um, I went out to service merchandise. Everybody remembers service merchandise and bought an inexpensive folding table and uh, it is about the perfect size to fit in the corner of this small room. And it's been there ever since, even though I've piled a lot more stuff on it. And it actually works pretty well for me, as long as I'm not trying to work on anything very large. The problem I have lately, actually for the last few years, is that this area to the right of the uh, mat, the green mat, is just piled with pliers, wire strippers, uh, crimpers, screwdrivers, knives, pens, pencils, all that stuff. And I'm constantly sorting through them trying to find the tool that I'm looking for. And just to the right of that are a bunch of bottles of things like spray contact cleaner, adhesive remover, isopropyl alcohol wipes and a uh, container uh, with a, a push pump on the top to dispense it and Q-tips and other stuff, and occasionally when I'm pushing the tools around, I'll knock some of those bottles or cans off the right edge of the table, and that's always bothered me because some of them are flammable or you don't really want them spilling potentially. Uh, so I decided to, as part of my New Year's resolutions for 2020, improve this table um, I decided the best solution was going to be put some sort of a lip along the right edge of the table to keep bottles and so on from scooting off the edge and also to build out almost like a abbreviated arm of a secretary's desk uh, a little area that extends from the uh, right front of the table and will be a tool holder for the majority of those tools that are currently piled up there on the right and it should open up the area pretty well without making because uh, my trash can that I throw my lead clippings and everything into is also under that area. So I didn't want this to stick out too far from the table that it would make it awkward to throw things into the trash. So this video is sort of a narrated slideshow of how I came up with uh, those two solutions. This project is very much a use what I've got laying around kind of project. So starting with the a metal lip that's going to go along the right edge of the table. I just use some galvanized tin or I guess it's really sheet steel but it's the material they sell in the hardware store for working on uh, air conditioning duct work and so on. And it was a pretty simple matter to use uh, my sheet metal pliers and a uh, tin snips to cut out the, uh, a shape mark it for folding, folded all the edges over so there's no sharp edges, and then bent it uh, along the bend line over the edge of my table saw table, and uh, drilled the three mounting holes in it, and gave it a couple of shots of black primer. I intended this metal lip to mount from the bottom of the table, and since the table top is just made out of compressed particle board, and fairly cheap stuff at that. Um, I decided I didn't want to put any screws into it. I doubt they would hold all that well. So I drilled uh, clearance holes for 832 threaded brass inserts and then put those in with a dab of epoxy on them to help lock them in place and then uh, used the 832 screws to to mount the uh, metal bracket to the table and uh, here is what it ended up looking like uh, going along the edge of the table. You notice it doesn't go all the way to the front of the table and that's because that corner there is reserved for the mounting clamp for my camera uh, crane <laughs> that I sometimes use for my videos. It's a big articulated uh, arm for holding cameras 
and like I said, I don't use it much, but when I do, it has to clamp onto that corner. Okay, now for the bigger part of the project, and that's making the tool holder uh, table extension. And uh, since I had just restocked my three-quarter inch and half inch Baltic birch plywood, I decided to use some of the three-quarter. And after doing a test fit, I realized that the holes that screwdrivers and such would be poking through, the handles are often heavier than the shanks, and they tended to cr tip around crazily. So I decided to make the uh, extension out of two thicknesses of three-quarter inch plywood to minimize the amount of tipping of the tools. Note that one layer is shorter than the other one, and that's because mostly it's going to be screwdrivers that are in this tool holder, but the back edge of it, or right edge when I'm viewed from where I sit at the bench, is going to have uh, my mechanical wire stripper and three other wire strippers and a uh, pliers uh, sticking with one handle through holes there. And that part didn't need to be so thick, and I actually thought it would be much easier to cut those holes on the scroll saw if the wood was not so thick there. So that's why the top layer is longer than the bottom layer. And then I just use regular wood glue and my pin nailer to quickly assemble the pieces and... Uh, I decided I wasn't getting quite enough compression with the pin nails for gluing the edging on, so I added a couple of uh, beam clamps for that stage. I still wasn't completely confident of the strength of that glue joint, so I drilled a couple of holes for a 3 8 inch dowel rod and stuck pieces of that in there with some wood glue just to uh, bolster the strength of the joint a bit. Here I've marked the shapes and locations of the special holes and the drilled starting holes at each location and working at it with my scroll saw taking my time due to the thick wood and there's all the shapes cut out for the various handles and that's a bottom view of the same thing only the file location uh, was in the thicker wood and then I drilled all the different sizes of holes for the various screwdrivers there's another view. This extension will be mounted to the metal frame under the tabletop using three quarter twenty bolts and I've got uh, threaded brass inserts going into each one of those with a little bit of epoxy. I gave it my usual one coat of polyethylene varnish followed by a light sanding followed by a second coat of the same varnish. Okay, so here I've installed the labels that I printed up, and they address either both sides of the label or one. Here are the three holes in the metal frame of my table, and that's with the bolts going through into the tool holder. And here's a right side view of the tool holder loaded up with tools, a head-on view, and an overhead view looking down and a view from the working position on the left and that formerly very congested area of the table is opened up now here you can see the labels are clearly visible